Right, here we are at a sunny mini field this afternoon. Uh, delighted, very warm as well. A bit different in conditions from what we had last season. If we look back a bit, Alan and Gavin, to uh, last year, um, first of all, of course, it was your second year in charge, uh, having finished six the season before. Uh, but uh, Gavin, we got off to uh, a less than auspicious start. But uh, I know you both had confidence in the squad. Yeah, we did. And when you look back from that, um, we took a lot of learning from that experience. And when we reflect on the season as a whole, uh, very rewarding where the groups come. So, um, yeah, you're obviously hoping for a better start this year. Um, but the main thing for us was the character show and all those performances, very close encounters. But, um, you know, we performed pretty well in most of them. Yeah, that was almost a turnaround. We did have a blip maybe end of December with uh, Bristol and Jersey. And then we had down here, unbelievable week to think of it now, Alan. We were down with dust bands clearing water up for the early part of 2018. But uh, it, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my memory really of the year. Was <laughs> how many times we got down here with uh, pitchforks and a load yeah. of bodies and just trying to clear the water. And yeah, no, it was very testing. But just going back to what Gav said there, you know, it was uh, it was about the test of character. Yeah. I, I mean, everybody involved with the Pirates is a test of characters, from supporters sticking with us to players, you know, keeping their attention on what they needed to do without getting too subdued with you know with results. And obviously with us, just making sure that we saw the bigger picture and we could keep moving forward. You know, and, to, and then towards the get, the get to the end of the season with everything against us in terms of numbers um, for training and the weather and all these things that was happening, but we just uh, stood fast and, uh, you know, we finished really strong, which was fantastic. Now we look forward now to uh, this coming season, obviously. It's going to be uh, a little bit different. Uh, we've got some new signings on board. Uh, how's things going so far, Gavin? Going well. Um, we haven't got everybody on board just yet. Uh, we've got a couple of lads just to arrive, but um, the new boys settling well. Yeah. Um, uh, as coaches, I think we're, we're further ahead with our development. So um, the pre-season so far has been better than the last one. So um, you know, standards have been pushed up, and we're not only pressuring each other, we're pressuring the boys. Then you know, the, the expectation of them goes up as well. So it's been a really good start the first few weeks. Yeah, I'm glad you both had a couple of weeks off this summer because you've really <laughs> had three extremely busy full-on years. Yeah. So uh, credit to you both for that. And uh, as we go forward now towards the, um, uh, the friendly games in August, uh, we must mention, Alan, that we've got another player coach in the shape of Chris Morgan on board. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, and uh, what, a, you know, what an asset he is to this club. You know, as a player, he was a real talisman. Now, as he sort of moves his, his career towards coaching, he's picked it up extremely well. You know, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a massive asset for us in, in the office and obviously how he supports the, um, the development of the boys on the pitch. So for us, we're just so pleased to, to keep Chris involved and, and I'm sure you'll see him on the pitch now and again. Yeah. And he'll, he'll play a similar role as I did uh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we oh, he's, you know, it's a tough path um, because you, you've got to have a you know a foot in both camps, and uh, you've got to apply a lot of energy to it. But he's he's more than capable, and uh, as I say, he will only add yeah. to what we're doing. So building up as we go towards that, of course, the the, the friendly games mirror what we had last season, same three in opposition, but of course we have extra Chiefs at home this year, which is really good. Likely to be a sellout crowd, everybody, and uh, I think it's an opportune time thus far where we are at present. Uh, to, to thank everybody for their input. I do must thank the sponsors for their continuing support and what have you. Supporters, of course, at Job Digital, we very much appreciate what they do. And uh, in general conclusion, I think it's fair to say that uh, if we look forward now to the immediate future, it's very exciting times. Uh, uh, we have one eye on Sport by Kerno as well. So it's a time really for everybody to uh, think Cornish Pirates and get behind something that really ha has tremendous potential and great excitement. Thank you.